V games? I may be a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy. My lack of the lazy has let me do shit that I love on the daily. Daily. Go. Good morning, vegan savages. In today's vlog, I tell you how I got verified on Instagram recently. I know I touched a bit about it in this vlog, but my DMs are full of congratulations, congratulations. But how did you get verified? How, 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 how? You want to know how? I tell you, honey, in this vlog. So, for all of my non vegan savages who clicked on the video just for that, I have a timestamp down below. But I recommend to you just lean back, put on your vlogging seatbelt and enjoy that, that, that. don't scroll down. Oh, you got me for a second I thought you were clicking on the timestamp for a moment there I thought you who anyway just came back put on your vlogging seatbelt and enjoy the vlog and I tell you today but first I gotta train my legs gold chin baby we're in Venice Cali boy but I'm from Germany though let's go what a weird blend it looks like an underwater blend and it is so hard like what is this but I kind of like the color. Should we bring out some merch in this color? The blends here, they're just so underappreciated. Wow, 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 wow. And, Psh, another one. Cover your eyes, promise not to look. Cause I got some good news for you. Unexpected surprise, now you're on the hook. Guess what? I booked a ticket for two. I feel stressed and depressed. I feel stuck in a room. It's time we get a brand new start. So get dressed, pack your bags, feel the holiday mood. You won't believe what we're about to do. Cause we're all California. I long to wrap my arms around you. Want to love. Finishing off with calves, and what's great about this gym is that they actually have a half pipe. A beautiful Venice Beach, what a beautiful location to tell you how I got verified, and you might get verified as well. Many people think you just get randomly verified by Instagram, and that might be true for big celebrities, like when Justin Bieber creates a new Instagram or deleted his Instagram and makes a new one, he probably gets verified automatically because there's so many fake pages and he's just crazy popular. But for most of us, there's actually something we need to do. Let's talk about it. We can talk about it, or we can get gully. I'll size up your body and put some white chalk around it. The sun is shining like crazy and I hope the wind and the noise isn't too bad. Here, I'm on Instagram. I'm gonna record my screen and zip, put it right here. So I'm already verified on vegan string. So <laughs> we're gonna look, um, oops. We're gonna look into another account. Let's go to Vegans Meme. If you don't follow Vegan Vegans Meme and you enjoy uh, funny vegan memes, then go follow. So um, you go to settings down here, and then you go to account, and then you go to request verification, and then it says apply for Instagram verification. A verified badge is a check that appears next to an Instagram account's name to indicate that the account is the authentic presence of a notable public figure, celebrity, global brand or entity it represents. Submitting a request for verification does not guarantee that your account will be verified. You type in your username, Vegans Meme, it's automatically, then your full name, known as, and then a category, I took blogger slash influencer and then you attach a picture of your ID and then you send it, send it and then it's in their hands as they say there is no guarantee that your account will be verified but that is something you need to do then someone, an actual person will manually check if you should become verified and 
don't do that if you just reach your friends, just a couple hundred people, but if you reach a couple or multiple thousands of people and you're doing something like, especially athletes, they get verified so quickly. If you're author, if you're musician, if you're rapper, if you're a porn star, if you're a writer, if you're a producer, if you're just influencer in some sort, then you do that because vegan savages don't get lucky. They make their own luck and request a verification. And that's what I did. And now something really important. There is a big scam out there and I get two to three emails per day where people want to scam me that, oh, just log in here and you will be verified. Or oh, congratulations, you are verified on Instagram. Just log in. And many people, oh, they're so excited because yeah, and they don't check where the email is from like always check the email and then it's like instagram 123 fake shit at google yahoo bullshit um so check that only if it's directly from instagram but as i said they don't send you an email so don't fall for these scams i heard so many cases where people clicked on it logged in the instagram someone got the password the password and then they just deleted the instagram posted stupid shit that happened to big people who reach millions of followers for example, the owner of Cafe Organic in Bali, she fell for that scam and yeah, she, some kids were just posting them random stupid shit and she lost so many valuable followers. So don't you dare falling for the scams where they send you an email, oh you're verified, congratulations. Seriously, so many are doing that. As I said, I get one, two, three emails per day and I'm like, you scammer, karma will f*** you over like crazy. So now you know how to get verified, how I got verified and I hope you don't end this video now. Become a vegan savage, just tickle that subscribe button and you're in for a ride where your life just gets better and better and better. And I share daily, meaning I do daily vlogs, my exciting, weird, healthy, funny, non-judgmental vegan lifestyle on a daily basis. No matter, you're also a YouTuber? Yeah. Yeah, what's your channel? Nah. Nah? Okay, just kidding. Funny joke. Uh, it's vegans. What? Vegans. All right, whatever. V games? V games? It's like vegan and games in one word. V games? Yeah, V games. Okay. Are you vegan? No, you're muscular. You're buff. Anyway, it's so hard to vlog at Venice Beach. What I wanted to say, it's funny, weird, health funny, and I already said that. Oh, that I vlog daily, no matter where I am. In Venice, in Berlin, in Bali, in... I don't know, that's so exciting about my life. I just, it's an adventure. What will happen next? It's like the greatest TV show ever, ever, ever. And you never imagined that today I will balance on this thing. Yo, guess what? Me neither, because this is real life shit. Yo, this is not scripted. Why I am rambling like crazy, I do not know. But I do know some things. I do know some things. I know that I love you. I know I love you. And I know that I would just be so happy if you just tickle that subscribe button. Whew, let's get back home. I'm so on the cup. Post workout meal. I think I will keep that. Going to the gym on an empty stomach because you get this real sense of hunger again. And I'm just looking to forward to breakfast like a child and I just spit it on my camera. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just so excited. So anyways, before this rambling goes for a lot of <laughs> to go home now and I think it's funny he said are you vegan no I'm fat that he knows when you're in a bland based diet you just lose fat naturally and reach your natural weight if you stick to a whole food bland based diet okay and because today is I don't even know what day is today but today is here farmers market right next to my hostel and how could I not get strawberries do you still uh, sell those strawberries yeah. how much is one do you know which day is today what? Which day? Friday, right? Friday, yeah. So each Friday is this farmer's market here, right? Yeah. From 7 to 11. 7 to 11 and it's probably almost 11, that's why you're closing. Yeah. But I still get some strawberries. So I take one basket. One basket? This entire thing. No, it's just, just one little basket. Everything is on point. You good, bro? Are they grown here in California? Yes, yeah, from Oxnard. Oh, I taste it. Thank you.
I just worked like crazy and I'm back at the butcher's daughter today on a Friday Hopefully it's not as crowded as on a Sunday where you had to wait 50 minutes for a table So let's see if we can get one Hello Do you have a table for just one? Just yourself? Yeah Just one I asked him, I got this place recommended so often, what are you known for? And he was like, avocado toast, pizza, this and that. And he said, the pizzas are really big. And I was like, hmm, do I pay $16 for an avocado toast or $18 for pizza and get many more calories? Not that healthy. And when it comes to eating out, I want the calories because if I pay like $16 and then I just get a tiny toast and I'm so still hungry, I feel just ripped off. And that's for me calories. Are more important than health because I just want to be full and not feel like I was ripped off so I took the pizza which was I mean my taste buds were just on fire but that's not the way I like to eat that was the pizza was four <laughs> percent arugula and mushrooms and the remaining 96 percent chunk which is refined flour the dough of the pizza and just the cheese which is mostly probably coconut oil and a shit ton of salt pizza is crazy high in sodium and that's it that's not how i like to eat because it's really chunky and unhealthy my pizza i like to make check out the recipe at vegans food let me tell you whole grain dough made out of whole grain flour like spelt flour whole wheat flour something like that and i put in lots of turmeric and black pepper in the dough so the dough is crazy healthy by itself but then i make the dough thin and then I had like an army of vegetables and legumes on it. Just overflown of vegetables and legumes. A good tomato sauce underneath. That's so good! I don't need cheese, yeah. Maybe a bit of nutritional yeast, herbs and spices. Tahini, drizzle it. That's it, that's my pizza. It tastes amazing. It makes me feel amazing. And that's how I like my pizza to be. Not like this. 4% whole foods, 96% chunk. And you're like, oh, 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 so much salt. Ah, this is shit I don't like. Been there, done that. So it shows me more and more that I just love sticking to a whole food plant based diet. That is just what fulfills me like crazy. And I get less and less tempted to try these things. It's great to try them once, like the Impossible Burger, like Been There, Done That, like the pizza, because I get it recommended a lot. Been There, Done That. But like when I'm back in Berlin or in the hostel, what I mostly eat is just whole foods, like my breakfast. A nice big muesli or porridge and then dinner just veggies and a good sauce which is based out, based out of whole foods and it is so good to me and I know it just fuels me with all the essential nutrients and it makes me feel amazing that's why whole food plant based nutrition is something I'm so passionate about and everyone should do because then we don't have these ex vegans then we don't have these oh I feel weak on a vegan diet I feel sick on a vegan diet no you just feel amazing I'm just rambling here like crazy but now, quick story time, but for this story, I need to sit down somewhere. <sighs> All right, I don't know how to tell you this. It's about rap music. Like I said to you, I work, work, work like crazy. And I, what I did, I when I do mindless stuff, I often listen to music, just like on YouTube, random playlist that is made for me. And I was creating memes by the way the most hilarious memes are coming at vegans memes so go follow that page i just cracked up like crazy because they're so funny <laughs> let me show you one okay like i thought there you fur just sucks we can all agree on that and i thought there's no possible way you can ever wear fur in a cruelty free way but there is actually one right here <laughs> i think that's hilarious so anyway i was listening to music that the and then a drake song was playing drake cool Good beat, da, da, da. it's God's plan. But then I listened to the lyrics. One line in particular, it just struck me. It goes like something like, sometimes I feel good, sometimes I don't. Here, play it. I feel good, sometimes I don't. Like, don't. Sometimes I feel good, sometimes I won't. Like that is like saying nothing. It's like, sometimes I'm hungry, sometimes I don't. Okay, sometimes I'm sleeping, sometimes I don't. Like that is like saying nothing just say nothing sometimes I'm on Instagram sometimes I don't okay so you're saying exactly nothing figure that line out 
but he's saying precisely nothing. I feel good sometimes I don't like no. But it flows though. I feel good sometimes I don't like no. Before I close this vlog down, I wanna show you something. This dried leaf it uh, you don't care? Whatever, it's whatever. You uh, just was super passionate about it and you don't care so Anyway, I hope so much today. Why do I already close the vlog down? <clears throat> because I today I work on a different project and to work on that I need the rest of the day, if not even more, meaning I will sacrifice sleep. So that's why I close this down. Your boy's out here hustling 24-7, following his highest excitement. And you just cannot stop because it's so much fun and I hope so much you do the same. Follow what excites you. If you don't know, just try lots of things. Find out what excites you. Do that more, do it more, do it more, do it more. You find your path clear and clear. You go that direction and so much will manifest and money will come as a side product, meaning you can follow your passions 24 seven. You make a living out of it. And the more you follow it, the more money you earn. You can even become crazy rich doing that. Watch me, I'm on my way getting there. So just follow your highest excitement. That's all I'm saying. Maybe get your Being Savage merch, which says, follow your highest excitement. We have hoodies, we have t-shirts. Anyway, that's why I'm closing vlog down. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I see you here tomorrow because I upload every single day. Peace. Eat your chickpeas. Help. Help.